Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. As you can see, Tyler and I are back in the boat. We are super excited to be out here today, and today's going to be a little bit of an unusual weather pattern for yeah, early uh, spring. For early spring, right. It's mid-April, and we're up here in O'Connell, Wisconsin, fishing with Captain Lynn Niklosh. And it's supposed to be 80 today, which is pretty rare, Lynn. How many days, times have you seen 80 in April up here? I can't remember can't 80. can't remember. It's supposed to be I super was warm. really worried about my outfit. About your outfit? Weather. Well, you, you can talk about that later. When it comes to Sarah picking out an outfit, it's supposed to be 80, but normally it's supposed to be 40. I know. I just, so she doesn't know what to do. She's bundled up regardless. Yeah. You can always take layers off yeah, is the name exactly. of the game. But we got a big wind coming in today, so that's going to kind of put a little damper on some of our plans, Lynn. We, we're going to go out onto the bay, but it might not be happening today. Yeah, they're calling for a small craft advisory today, and that's one of the good things about Ocano is there's a bunch of rivers around yep. where you can tuck in and, and fish when uh, when it's too bumpy to get out right. there. And still have the opportunity for big fish. And still have the opportunity yeah. for big fish. And we're kind of hitting it right. You, it, was, it was a cold, late kind of winter. Spring took a little while to get here, and then we have three really nice days in a row, and we're topping it off with an 80-degree day. Yep. So that will kick that water temp up, yep. and those fish are going to start pushing in the river. For sure. So normally when we come up here, we have uh, hair jigs on and we have lipless crankbaits. Yep. So since we're in the river today and our plans sort of changed, because I was thinking we were doing lipless cranks. So what we're going to we defer to Lynn. Uh, I would, uh, the, the uh, hair jigs have hair been jigs. working pretty well, yeah. especially. Uh, that's kind of your go-to early, early in the pre-spawn, especially. Yeah, pre-spawn, yeah. slow lethargic fish. We're going to, we're going to, I think I got the bait for that. We're going to use Northland's deep V bucktail jigs. I think that's going to be the ticket. So I got to be patient. You're okay. going to be patient, yeah. It should be good. And we talk about safety quite often when we do, do shows with Lynn and yep. small craft advisory, like Lynn mentioned, we're supposed to have 40 mile an hour gusts today. Yep. This is when it helps to have a guide to know, you know, right. when to go out, when to stay in. And Lynn also doesn't know spots on the lake. He knows all the spots on the river. So we're, As really, well, yeah. we're really excited and we might share some of his secrets. So hey, stay tuned. We'll be right back catching some big pre-spawn wallies, hopefully, right here on a Sportsman's Journal. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Before you head out on the water, check out northlandtackle.com. Back there. What do we got? I think it's a fish. We're gonna get the net now. How's it yeah. feel? I mean, it feels decent. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Pulling some drag. You know, it's hard to tell. That's a walleye. With the current. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a walleye. Which side are you going on? Uh, this side, I think. She's not. She's. She's nice, but. There we go. I think she was chasing it for a little bit because. Nice. Fish. I don't think I was on the bottom when she hit. It's a good way to start the day, hon. Huh? Let's see that thing. Good fish. Ooh. I thought it was a little high. Here we go. Nice work. That's how we're going to start them off this morning. I like it. I love it. How do you hit? Pretty good? Yeah, oh yeah. I came up and walloped it. Like, I don't even think I was on the bottom and she chased it. It was a nice hard hit and perfect. Dandy fish. That's how we're going to start us off and there's fish in the river. There you oh, go. There, we go. there you go. There you go. I like that. Ah, uh, that fish drilled it a little bit there. I like that. It went for it. I'm reeling in. So then you were talking about, well, this is the first time we fished a river with you, but you're saying how when that sun gets high, they'll go to what, the, the more of the channel? Or just yeah, talk about it, the it just seems like, here. it seems like over the last couple days uh, with, you know, the full moon we just had and the water temperature rising, the fish are starting to make their way into the river for spawning. Um, and it seems like there's two ways that I like to fish them. One is on the flats and one is um, in the channel and it seems like the water's uh, not as dirty as it usually is. It looks like the fish have moved more into the channel rather than up on the flat. Right. Well, the I bite's definitely getting a little more aggressive I too. forgot we extended the handle. Good so job, Sarah. <laughs> I, had a little bit, I had a little bit more go-to and I forgot that. There we go. Nice fish. 
This is like Grand Central Station right here, Lynn. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of stuff's happening. Yeah, it's uh, pretty busy here. All the all the walleyes got to go through, but all the boats got to go through right. here too. So. Yeah, exactly. and there's shore fishing, and there's people everywhere. But That's a hey, yeah, and that you guys, you and Sarah both have black. Yeah, we're we're using black. Um, I tend to either go bright. Sorry, I tend to either go bright or dark. And so if the water, basically, if I can see my prop, I'll use a dark, like a purple or a black. And if I um, you know, can't see, then I'll use a bright color like a chartreuse or an orange or... Right. Tyler's going opposite. I am, I'm total opposite. I'm going bright. Here we go. There we go. That looks better. Wind is blowing. Okay. Lynn, you moved us again. As soon as you move us, I catch a fish every time. That's like the happy trigger for Tyler. Yeah, it is. Motor moves. It's a nice eye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's I'm a workout get, in the current. I say I'm getting a workout. The uh, You add the wind on with the current of the river. It's uh, definitely a workout on the net job. I know. That's a good fish. Put it back in there. I'm trading places with Lynn because it is a lot less windy back here. Yeah, Lynn's still gonna fish and we are gonna break down what we're using. My favorite part of the day, we get to talk about what's working. And we're using the Northland Fishing Tackle Deep V Bucktail Jig. And we've caught fish on these a lot over the years. We have, yeah, they're, they're really effective. And um, today they're effective because of the shape of the Deep V, right. um, dropping down to the bottom in the current. Um, and then the hair on it is uh, causing a little flutter, a little calling clutter. them in. I'm going with the bubble gum. I've been watching Not you usually. over the last three or four years and you've been using pink a lot and been kicking my butt, so to speak, on the water. So I'm going to start going, take a page out of your buck. I'm using more pink, but you're going with traditional. Yeah, I just, can't I can't go wrong black. Traditional black, yeah. natural. Um, it's got a little red tinsel, looks like blood, you know, right. a little bit of a flash, but uh, very, very simple, very basic, natural colors here in the river. and. Uh, I don't know, it's been producing. It has been producing. We're using 3 8 ounce, mm -hmm. which yep. is the biggest size they come in, and an array of colors. Yep. And we're catching a lot of fish. And the cool thing that we're doing that we normally wouldn't really think of, when you think of a stinger hook, you put it on a live bait presentation. Yeah. But we're actually rigging these up with just a stinger hook, no live bait hanging out the back end. And what's causing a lot of our hookups is that stinger hook. Right, and fish are taking a swipe, they're pinning it to the bottom. Right. And even if we get that first hook in, you know, that you're fighting a lot of current, yep. there's a lot of wind, there's, it takes a long time to get these fish in, so that stinger hook is just kind of securing that we make it, a the fish makes it into yeah, the net. A, a couple extra uh, hooks there to mm -hmm. keep the fish pinned. Yeah. You know what, we'll take any way we can get them. Absolutely. And even though the wind's blowing, the fish are biting, I'm gonna get back at them. Yeah. All right, ready. Lynn, you can come back to your spot, bud. I'll go back up to the front. fish there it is nice did you see how much slack i had you gotta get out into the channel out there yeah. that's where the fish are it's a miracle that i have this fish on still i'm not gonna lie miracles happen every day hon this fish is charging it looks like a little bit better but i can't tell for sure for sure I tighten Reach! Up, I tightened up my drag, so I really horsed her. Nice job. <laughs> she just spit it as Lynn netted her for me. That's another decent one, hon. There we go. All right. I don't know what to do. I'm all flustered. I got the line wrapping around my head here in the wind. You caught the fish. The next step I, is to extract it from the net. I can't even believe I caught that one because I had so much slack in my line. That's because... Fishing 101. Don't have slack in your yeah, line. Yeah, but also... We're all using KCRs today, and that's a huge deal. Oh yeah, I can feel everything. I felt her, felt her thump it, and then reeled back in, and there we go, another nice walleye. And I think we're going in the direction we want—a little bit bigger, yep. a little belly on that one. Nice work. Perfect. It's been a good morning so far, and perfect release. That was, that was the most skillful part of your operation. <laughs> Try my best. <laughs> the Deep V Bucktail Jig from Northland Tackle. This keel design gets you down faster. Add to that a unique range of colors, sizes, and the bucktail with its natural presentation delivers unmatched performance. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To view their full lineup of open water apparel, 
Head to strikerbrands.com. That looks a little better. I'm back here taking a break. <laughs> so that means I'm netting? Yeah. I can net. That's a little bigger walleye right there, I Is think. It? Did you see it? Yeah, I did. It's on the surface right I there. I got my glasses off. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I like it. All right. Sarah, are you good. ready back there? I'm ready. I think you pinned it to the bottom and got him in the bottom of the chin. Ooh, that's fun to watch him swim in, isn't it? That's a good fish. Nice. <sighs> wow. Sometimes the leverage I need. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Yes. Yeah, that's right. a nice, nice work. work. Let me grab his board out here. That's a big female. Wow. Yep, that's why we're in the river. Look at the here, gut on that thing. These things are coming in here to spawn and oh my gosh, all them little the ones belly. we're catching. Oh, chasing them in there, but yeah, look at the belly on that thing. Oh my gosh. Get out of the way. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Look nice. at the gut on that thing. <laughs> wow. Is unbelievable. Right, this one's coming in to drop the eggs and all the little males are chasing it. Dandy fish. That's wow. why they're in here. Nice. We probably should get her back, huh? Yes. Yep. Dog on it. The wind is supposed to die down. Yes. There we go. When I looked earlier. You got one? Yep. Fish on up here in front. Are you going with another? Or am I? Oh, that's a nice eye. I'm gonna bring him over here to the left side. Another one. Lynn. Oh, deep V. Bubble gum, buddy. Bubble gum. Yep. I'm gonna attempt to. It's a good one. Fat. Fat. Let's take a look. Ha ah, ha yes. Lynn, this is a blast. Yeah, it's a fun time. There are not too many days you're going to come out here and have 75 degree weather in April. I know, I know, I know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is this pretty rare? I can't believe the weather. Yeah, the weather is pretty warm for yeah. the next few days for sure. Nice fish. Wow. Considering it was snowing last there. weekend. Yep. Lynn was talking about earlier about how we have to kind of use the rod to present these baits where we want them. We've got to go sideways because of the wind. but having constant contact with our bait, especially in current situations, is huge. And it all starts with the rods. Obviously, we love Kramer Custom Rods on Sportsman's Journal. And the sensitivity alone in these rods when we're doing this technique, just for walleyes in general, is well worth it. We're feeling everything that's happening. You couple that with braid, which we have on our, which we're spooled up with. Every little tick on the bottom, you know, you hit a leaf, you know you got your, you got something on that deep V bucktail jig that you got to take off. So being able to feel what's going on, not just for strikes, but in the dirty rivers like this, you got all this flow, you got all this runoff, you're catching leaves constantly. We're all using our seven foot X11 ZR series. And these are just carbon fiber rods, really sweet sticks, very sensitive, like I said. And the cool thing with the carbon fibers is that they have a little bit slower taper. So you have a little more play in there. And the other cool thing about that is when you're using braid, that kind of absorbs a little bit of the shock. So you get a little more play. You're not ripping hooks on big fish with this braid. And that's the KCR, the X11 ZR series, sweet stick. I'm gonna get back out there and tag another one. There you go, fish. Oh yeah. The I'll fish the almost channel. knocked me over. Don't let it knock you over, hon. It's just a walleye. I know. They are exciting though, huh? Yeah, Another one bites excited. the dust on the deep I'm, I'm going where she tells me and she's telling me she's coming this way. She's already almost to the boat, I'm going crazy. Not a huge one. All right. There you go. Yeah, doing a little surface dance in there. All right, now this is gonna be awkward because I grabbed her with my left hand. There we go, oh, look at that, perfect. Chunky little female. Mm -hmm. Perfect, I love it. The day is going just as we planned. Lots of walleye. There. Ooh. Nice. 
I kind of watched. The yeah, we watched. There. We both. We all watched that one happen. Nice I, job. You Lynn. were ready to jig it and, or bring it back up. I was. Good that's fish. What, that's what worries me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Now you're talking. You know, just ease them back up, current, and see what happens. All right. Hey, Lynn. Yep. Ready. There's something about that flat over there that's got fish on it. There is something about it. It seems like when the water warmed up, they moved up there to hang out. Yeah, I say, are they staging then tonight? Maybe they're gonna go in and you know, do probably their thing. push up a little bit. Pulling hard, we're at the leader, so when I come up, there, she should I be just close. got a glimpse. She's nice. What do you see, Sarah? She's a nice one. She's not as big as the, that last one, but she's nice. That's a good fish. Oh, and the stinger hook. Nice. Oh, and it and came she's off. off. All right. Is she getting you? Yeah, a little bit. That's another nice fish, though, huh? She's got good a little job. belly. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah, good it's, little. They're fun to catch, even if they're so not the dinosaurs. But well, yeah, because you never know how big they're gonna be, and then the current right? makes them even bigger. <laughs> so right? they're all 25. Lynn. The blast. Obviously, the walleyes come into the rivers to spawn. Yeah. But how long are they actually in the rivers for? Um, you know, that's, there's residential fish, the smaller ones that will stay in the river all year. Yeah. But, um, you know, usually maybe the middle of May, you can still catch your limit in the river. That's there's fish. a fish. Yeah. Behind us. This is a better fish, I think. Unless she's right in the current. Ooh. What do you got, hon? Well, I'm guessing it's a walleye, but you never know. Oh, we're switching. I'm gonna switch. Switching switch it up here? Uh, Things get sketchy when we start moving around back here with a big old eyeball on. Oh, she likes this side. They like this side. They like to come back out of the channel into the flat. Into the slack current as they Is this a big fish, hon? It feels better. I don't think it's huge. No, I don't Not know if bad. It's bigger. It's what? I don't even know if it's bigger, but. I see a belly. Yeah. Okay. She is a little tangled in the net there. There we go. Let's see that fish. How many people does it take to get Sarah's fish out of the net? Well, you got the deep V Couple. bucktail jig, Sarah. You know this. Their hooks yeah. are like razor. Hook everything. That's a nice fish. Pretty fish, too. Wow. Yeah. Nice work. All day long, we just catch walleye. <laughs> They can't wait to leave you. No, you know as, soon as, I, yeah, as soon as I get ready, they're like, woo! Finally, we got out of the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking around. You guys are all exhausted. Oh, yeah. We got wind and, and sunburn. And oh. yeah. It's been a day. It has been a day. Uh, we got out here right about the break of dawn. Lynn, yep. Lynn said, Lynn, Lynn gave us the lowdown. Too much wind. Not good to go out. Not safe, really. To yeah. Be, to where we want to go. Small, cra small, craft, small advisory, craft advisory. So. And yeah. a lot of people, so we need to get yeah. here to launch. Lots of people. Get us a parking spot. Get yeah. our boat in the spot we wanted. And... and Lynn took us right to the to the honey hole, and we pounded in the O'Connell River, which we've never done before, so that was fun. Yep. We, got, we got to see what the deep V-jig heads from Northland were all about, the, the hair jigs. They worked well today. They did. They did. We caught a lot of nice fish. And Lynn, that's pretty normal, though, this time of year, isn't it? I mean, you're catching 30, 40, 50, sometimes more than that, right? Yeah, pretty much. And is when it comes to the river. Yeah, the river, the river is pretty good, um, you know, most of the time until the middle of May, but um, you're just at, at the mercy of whatever's happening. So sometimes you're there when the pre-fish females are coming in. Sometimes you're there when they're spawned out and they're coming back. Right. Um, last weekend with this warming trend that we're having, you know, it, it, it tended to warm the water up enough that with the full moon and the fish yep. moved through and there seemed to be a lot of smaller females following up and a lot of males chasing. Yep. Um, but the good thing about the river is you can always fish it. Right, that's true. It's always holding walleyes. Like you said, there's always a population in there. Yep. Uh, so, Lynn, uh, you're a busy guy. I'm a busy guy, And yeah. you, you catch a lot of fish on your guide trips. Sometimes, if sometimes. Some, oh, wow. And he's <laughs> modest. <laughs> humble. Very humble. Uh, if people are looking to hook up with you and spend a day on the water, what's, what's the best time? Because I know that this is the big time for 
big fish. What's the best time to get a hold of best you time. for it and how to get a hold yeah, of you? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, usually late fall, I start taking bookings for the following right. year. Um, if you don't call, you know, by, or call me before like the middle of January, end of January, you won't have a day uh, this for this bite. Right, too late, yeah. It's a very so, popular bite. But yeah. we can definitely still catch fish all year yeah. round, but this casting bite, uh, pre-spawn fish is, you know, a lot smaller window. It's right. pretty popular. Yeah. Well, and how do they get a hold of you? Oh, yep, please. Uh, they can <laughs> get all my information off my website, which is fishandpal.com. Right. And there's a reason why we always go fishing with you, bud. It's just not because you're funny. I thought it was my good and looks. entertaining. I was going to say good looks, too. It's because you put <laughs> us on fish every time. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week on Sportsman's Journal. For more information on how you can chase walleyes in the bay with Captain Lynn Niklash, check out his website, fishandpal.com.